Funk Air. <laughs> Hello everybody and a very very warm welcome to Filbert Flies. We are back in the CRJ today and we are back at Louisville, uh, which is how I've been uh, being taught to pronounce Louisville for the last uh, 10 minutes or so. I've said I'll do my damnedest once to get it right and after that we're going back to Louisville uh, because Louisville just just doesn't doesn't fit with my mouth um, but apparently that's how everyone in Kentucky pronounces it outside of Louisville but people in Louisville pronounce it Louisville that is according to Jenny um, don't shoot the messenger <laughs> glad you enjoyed the music uh, Kami next group flight is on the 10th uh, all the details will be on my discord server near the time hello Niels welcome to the stream nice to see you back here Steve hello hello uh, who else have I not said hello to? Ben, I haven't said hello to you. Garlic Games, I haven't said hello to you. Zacho, I've sort of spoken to you a lot in the chat. Uh, and Toady, ahoy to you. Uh, very, very warm welcome to all of you. So it's been a few days since I've flown the CRJ. And I've also just come off night shift. So I'm I'm kind of not quite all with it. But I'm, I'm psyched. I'm psyched to give it a go. Uh, so let's get started with the setup. Hello, the sim pilot. Hello, Bow Motion, and hello, Kai. My landing earlier was very nice. Thank you. It's very nice. Kai uh, came across me on um, on uh, Vatsim. I was flying from London to Nice, and where were you flying, Kai? You were flying a, a long haul. I remember that much to Barcelona. Was it was it Princess Juliana to Barcelona? Can't remember. Um, hello, Samsonite. Welcome. Right. So, uh, we are basically in the turnaround state. This is not the first flight of the day, so this is likely how we would find the aircraft. So, uh, oh, Reverend Dickie, I'm ever so sorry. Welcome to the stream. Lovely to have you here. Um, yes, yeah, so ordinarily you wouldn't find an aircraft in its uh, cold and dark state. So, we're going to start by setting up the uh, CDU. Ooh, not like that, though, we're not. Told you it had been a while. <laughs> okay, next page. Copy and paste the GNSS1 position. Go over to the flight plan page and I'm going to import my flight plan from Simbrief by just typing in KS, KSDF. KSDF. And KORD. Plonk it in the root bit. Root loaded. Execute. And it's brought up our uh, flight number down here, Skywest 3130, so we know we have the right plan loaded. Uh, Magnus, hello. You are your Avatsim controller from um, Gothenburg. Nice, lovely airport. I've flown there a lot. I wonder if I've ever spoken to you. Uh, nice to have you in the stream. On your climb now so you can focus. Good, good, good. Lego Owen, welcome to the stream. Oh, your last night shift this week. Excellent. Glad, glad you're nearly there with them, Sam. Um... Yes, yes indeed. Have I updated? Yes, I have updated, Steve. Yep, I have. And you've bought uh, SDF and something else. Louisville. Louisville. Okay, I think I was close. I think I was close. But anyway, it's Louisville from now onwards. <laughs> uh, right, okie dokie. Let's uh, go up to the overhead panel. Now we've started setting that up. And we'll get our no smoking and seatbelt signs on. We'll get our... Uh, nav light on and logo light on because we are powered up so they should be on really and we're going to start up the APU so we'll check that it's completed its bite now it has and the SOV is open so we'll hit the start button and while we're up there we're going to check that the ELT is armed the emergency lights are armed which they were not they are now um, so we're pretty much ready to get passengers on board as you can see we're currently on external AC power which is what we want. Right, we can finish setting this up now. So we're going to go over to our flight plan page and we're going to sort out our arrivals and departures. We're already on the flight plan page, in fact. Um, we're going to go to the departure and arrival page because this is not an Airbus, different page. Um, and we've planned a runway 17 right departure, but winds at the moment are 310 at 11. So we're going to change that and I think we'll go for. Let's go for 3-5 left, shall we? And we still want some sort of strep departure. Yep, strep 5 it is. That works fine. We'll press execute. 
and it's pretty much a straight out departure now which is nice I'm just gonna have a quick look at the chart so from 3.5 left we want to go straight ahead until we're above 1020 feet then make a left turn to 335 towards row uh, so let's check that matches our legs page and it does then strep correct and that's the end of our SID onwards to Bont and then if I remember rightly and I do we are pretty much straight onto our star into uh, Chicago O'Hare which someone's probably going to tell me is pronounced Shkurgu or something like that but anyway <laughs> ah dear landing in the LEBL in the live event fine ah wow and how's it how's it gone or are you actually landing at the moment Kai if you're landing now look away watch your flight I would, don't want to be responsible for it all going wrong at the last minute <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy seeing me in the US Jenny I mean it's a great it's a great place for the CRJ there aren't that many CRJ 700s flying in Europe at the moment and as you know I like to do real world routes of the sort I could go and uh, fly on in the real world tomorrow so that's uh, that's why I'm over here really Chicago right <laughs> what a great day for a stream today was your last day of spring break so it ended off with a boom oh good 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 I'm glad to uh, have a part in ending your spring break well Tokyo star uh, happy April Fool's Day to you too surrender well garlic games I won't lie to you I have because I've been mostly flying in the States when there aren't many controllers online I don't think I've actually had to take any instructions from ATC yet so we'll see <laughs> Chica go <laughs> ah dear good uh, so we'll make sure that we don't have any discontinuities and we'll go back to our departure arrival page and we'll have a look at our Chicago arrival because it's such a short flight it makes sense to me to get everything set up while we're still on the ground rather than having a mad panic while we're in flight okay so in O'Hare winds are 0 to 0 at 14 gusting to 22 that sounds rather fun doesn't it um, so I don't think I don't think uh, two two right is the runway for us. Let me have a quick look at the uh, the options. So winds again basically from the north. Um, so I'm tempted to go for either four left or four right. And of the two, I'd like to go for four right because it'll be a much shorter taxi at the other end. So let's uh, pop that in there now. And uh, do we want vectors? I don't know. I'm going to have a quick look at my charts, which is not very interesting for you. But uh, it won't take me long, and I'll show you them all en route so you can uh, understand what I've been up to. So our choices are a vector's leg, which obviously we're not going to get, or we can go straight to the initial approach fix, which is RAN. And I think we'll try for that, actually. Uh, we'll step through the plan in a minute and make sure that that makes sense. In fact, we'll step through the plan right now. So we'll go to MFD Advance, and we'll change the format to uh, Map Mode. And we'll oh, there's a big discontinuity there I've missed. Probably because I changed the arrival. Strep then Bont. Is that what we want? I think so, yeah. Yes, it is. Execute. Right, back to the MFD advance page. And this, of course, is why you should always step through your flight plan. Nylon, Veek, Boone, Hanny. Cluzo, Kato, Pink. These are, of course, all waypoints on our star. And then, where's it taking us? Let's just zoom in a little bit. Monks. It's taking us on a little bit of a roundabout route. But that's okay, we can do that. Monks and then... I think that's Giorgio hin hidden under there. Yes, it is. And then Pogon, a possum rather, possum. And then it's going to straight take us straight to our initial approach fix for the arrival onto runway 04 right, which is a bit of a sharp turn and not something that would happen in real life. Uh, you would you would definitely get vectors, um, but we'll vector ourselves around and we'll sort something out. Unless of course Chicago AT, um, ATC comes online while we're en route, which would be. Which would be a blessing in some ways and a bit of a pain uh, in other ways. <laughs> right, I'll catch up with the chat a little bit. Can I share the flight plan to download and fly along? I can, yes I can. 
Um, I can't really share the file, I don't think. There's no easy way of doing that, but I'll certainly copy and paste the routing if you'd like to join me. Just bear with me a second while I find the right window. That's the routing. Uh, can't feel that I'm an expert with this caravan now. No worries about a crash. <laughs> Louisville and Chicago were both online this morning, but they signed off. Ah, that's a shame. That's a shame. CRJ is quite frustrating for you at the moment. Either it won't climb or the engine throttles are so sensitive they drop before they go up. They do take a minute to stabilise. They do take a minute to stabilise. I had a climb issue out the blue today. Yeah, it's still a bit buggy. It's still a bit buggy, but uh, hopefully we'll get through this together. <laughs> You're with family now, but you'll be back later. Oh, no, okay, no worries, Garlic. See you in a bit. No controllers online at the moment, Niels. No. Um, there's the route. See you later, Tokyo Style. You've done some relatively good flights, and the climbing issue happens more often than not. Ah, oh, that sucks. It does struggle to climb when it gets above about flight level 250, I find. Okay, we're going to go over to the EFB now, and we're going to do our performance stuff. So we'll switch to zero fuel weight, and I'll get that off the Simbri flight plan, 26426. Enter, and the fuel on board today, or what we want on board today, is... Hmm... 4312. I could of course switch this to pounds to make it a little bit more realistic, but seeing as the bulk of my flying is in Europe, I tend to just leave it alone at kilograms rather than chopping and changing between them. Right, we'll set the payload, bit of a bounce. I'm going to press it again because it does something with the centre of gravity when you press it a second time, and uh, that's good, I think. Uh, and while we're here, we'll copy the perf init data to the FMS. And now we can go down to our uh, perf page perf init page. So we've got our weights and balances all in here. We are travelling today, or flying today at flight level 3880. Pretty high for such a short flight. Um, but anyway, we'll go with it. We'll go over to the next page and we'll input the cruise wind from the Simbri flight plan. Uh, and the average wind component is going to be minus 51 today. Execute. We'll go over to the VNAV setup. Not a lot that needs to be changed here, particularly in the US. Our transition altitude is, of course, 18,000 feet. Our target speed is uh, 290, then Mach 0.74. Uh, cruise speed Mach will be Mach 0.74. And our descent speed will be Mach 0.74 and then 290. So this is all looking accurate. OK, let's do our originating checklist now. See what we've forgotten. Probably some things. Crocsian mask, not the first flight of the day, so it's fine. Audio warning panels, fine. Not the first flight of the day, that's fine. External lights, we have our uh, nav and logo lights on, which is what we should have on. Fuel panel, let's check that. Looking fine for now. Um, hydraulic panel, Ah oh, yes, we haven't turned on our hydraulics yet. We have done our bleed air, we have done our APU. Start panel's looking fine. Hydraulic panel, we need to turn all of them to auto and on. So in other words, push them all forward towards the windscreen. Hydraulic panel. Yep, checked and auto, no lights showing. Uh, cabin pressure panel is uh, checked. Air conditioning panel, uh, that is checked. We'll turn the recirculating fan on. And while we're up here, because this is coming next, we'll turn the windshield heating to low. Emergency lights are armed. We did that. Standby compass is matching the uh, PFD. Nose wheel steering is off. Clocks have been set. Well, they're always right, aren't they? Um, instrument panels checked. Upper pedestal panel is fine, I'm sure. Thrust lever quadrant. 
thrust levers are in cutoff. Spoiler slash speed brake retracted. Um, avionics have been checked. Trims have not been done yet. We'll do them now quickly. So we want a 6.5 takeoff trim. And uh, for those of you who don't know, a few people have asked this on, in the comments for my tutorial video, but the default keys for setting this trim are number pad 7 for nose down and number pad 1 for nose up. You can also uh, assign them to throttle buttons or whatever you want, really. Uh, right, your damper will turn that on now. And while we're down here, we'll uh, hit the stab trim and mac trim switches too. I'm going to turn on our flight directors now and we're going to set our cruising altitude because there are no at or below restrictions on our SID to flight level 380. And I'm just going to come back to the chat and see what you've been saying and what I've missed. Oh, did they uh, resive in music? That's cool. Let me just have a quick look at my VAT spy. Oh, I think you're right. Chicago O'Hare approach is online. Awesome. So maybe we will get some vectors after all. And maybe I'll get into trouble with USATC for the first time in my life. <laughs> so the icing thing, you shouldn't have an issue with that as long as you've turned the ice effect to visual only in the sim setting. So I don't think that was your problem. We'll see what happens tonight. That's exciting, Tokyo Star. What's your uh, second favourite game? Thank you, Pablo. Nice to see you here. Welcome. And hello, Demetrius. You just realised that World Wide Web has fewer syllables than www. It does, yeah. <laughs> but the trouble is, if you say World Wide Web, you feel people think you're old these days. <laughs> the chat in the right side is working. Yeah, I don't know what went wrong with it last time. It was something to do with stopping the stream and starting it again. Don't understand why. 3W, I like that. Before you start teach you how to fly that's a bit of a tall order uh, trash beat trash boat <laughs> that's more than a 10 minute job i'm afraid i'm glad i got your name right nathaniel hello welcome to the stream am i going to review barley um i haven't decided yet nathaniel possibly so it's certainly not a priority at the moment there's a few other things that i want to get reviews done for so i wouldn't wait for one put it that way hi kevin welcome welcome how was your afternoon Okie dokie, let's move on. Uh, so we can probably crack on with the before start checklist now. So passenger signs are on, landing elevation we haven't set yet. What is the airport elevation here at Louisville? It is 501, so we'll uh, pop out this panel which I'm afraid you won't be able to see and uh, move on up to the overhead and twiddle the knob till it reads 500. done you can close that and you can see 500 is now showing here we haven't set our altimeters yet so we'll switch to inches of mercury press the b key twice and that gives us 30.43 uh, inches of mercury how close is that to what the meta says pretty close it says 30.42 so that's fine uh, FMS has been checked and set. IRSs are aligned in nav radios and nav aids. Uh, we'll set them now. 122.8. So we're on the Unicom frequency. And because this is um, an RNAV SID with no uh, VORs or other tunable radio beacons on, there's no point in us tuning anything into nav 1. Okay. So what we'll do now is uh, close, we'll get rid of the jetway, although for some reason, yeah, Pushback Express doesn't like removing the jetways while the door's open, so we'll just have to uh, close the door, and then it might let us remove it, I'm not sure, or if not, it should start moving when we call for pushback. Ah, interesting. I just removed the wheel chocks, or I think I did. No, I put them back and the jetway went away. That's weird. That's really weird. Anyway, whatevs. Chocks are away. And uh, we'll get the beacon on and we'll get going. If everyone's ready. Uh, 
No, I'm not, Demetrius. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Twiddle knob. Check. Twiddled. <laughs> uh, any ideas for a fun and short route to do with the A32NX? Um, I mean, I'm based in the UK. It depends what you're looking for. But uh, London to Manchester is always quite fun and short. Greetings to you in Montreal, Carl. Welcome. I was in Montreal a year ago. Uh, I very much liked it. You're hoping to see how I cope with the buggy ILS? Well, you may well get to see how I cope with the buggy ILS. <laughs> we are doing an ILS approach, unless, of course, unless, of course, they give us some other god-awful approach that I'm not expecting. Caribbean route's a nice idea, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Miami to St. Martin. I'd endorse that. <laughs> Uh, right. I mean, it's no Heathrow to Manchester, but it's it's a close second. <laughs> Okie dokie. Onwards and upwards. Um, clear to start. So, we've turned the beacon on. Doors are closed and locked. Fuel pumps will turn on now. I feel certain I've missed something because I've been chatting to you rather than looking at my copious notes on the plane. Bear with me a second. I think we're all right, to be honest. I think we're all right. <laughs> oh, no, an Arnav uh, SID. Uh, um, yeah, an Arnav departure, not an Arnav approach. Welcome, uh, Razor95. I'm all right, thank you. Uh, welcome to the stream. Nice to have you here. <laughs> right. Uh, I, I don't think we can put it off any longer, can we? Let's uh, let's get pushed back. Just going to double check what uh, warnings we've got up here. Yeah, that all looks as it should. Clear the master caution and master warning lights. And uh, we'll get the pushback tug over. Oh, no, we can't have UK ground crew. Hang on. There we are. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight tech. We are oh, ready for pushback and engine start. Roger, release the parking brakes, please. All right. Be better if you connected your tug. Parking well, brakes be released. best if you removed your tug from the building before we started talking about parking brakes. But you know best, I'm sure. <laughs> this is very true, Reese. Yeah, yeah. The learning process does never end, and that's what makes simming fun and engaging, really. Come on, in your own time. You are clear behind and you can start your engines at your discretion. Great. Starting right engine. Come on, get to 20 before I have to steer the tug. I'll do ya. The Caravan's a really nice plane, especially with the mod. I haven't flown it for a while, but I do really like it. <laughs> Roger that ground, knob twiddled. <laughs> oh, how's that for a pushback, eh? Pretty much bang on. Well, if that's a sign of things to come, this is going to be a damn pushback good flight. Pushback complete, set parking brakes, please. Parking brakes set. Roger. Now, okay, the tow bar yeah. is disconnected. What went and wrong the here? Clear. We will see you on what the left side. What went wrong here with this pin. engine start? Was Thanks, that and I you can disconnect and go to answer calls. Thanks. The, uh, Have a good flight. See you later. I tried to adjust the throttle lever because I pushed it too far forward, uh, and then I cut it off by mistake. So, we'll do that again. Turn on the start switch. I did that quite a lot when I was uh, learning this plane, and I even said on my tutorial. If it goes a bit too far forward, just leave it, because otherwise you'll kill the engine. So, you know, got to take my own advice, really, haven't I? 
Okay, try again. There we are. That should start now. Let's have a little listen to it. A little look from the outside. Plus, who really needs to monitor engine instruments? <laughs> it's true, Jenny. It can only go downhill from here. Hello there, welcome to the stream. Person from South Korea whose name I have no hope of reading, but lovely to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. Zack Gaming, it is cool. It is cool. In this case, the looks are not deceiving you. <laughs> welcome to the stream. Starting left engine. Does it soon? I've flown the 550 a little bit, but I think I've only done two flights in it. I, I haven't really, I haven't really done enough to compare. I like it though. You're in New Zealand, Ryan. Well, good morning to you. I guess you're just, uh, just getting, just getting up, are you? Good evening, Dazza. Welcome to the street. Yeah, indeed, it's a five-day weekend for me, fortunately. Not because of Easter, just because of the way my shift's full. I hadn't thought of that actually. I could have uh, could have done my long haul overnight tonight, couldn't I? If no one's uh, no one's working tomorrow. Apparently pronounced Chunyog. Ah, okay. Chunyog. Do, do let me know if that's not right. I assume this is a uh, Google Translate jobby. Right, so that's two good engine starts. So now we'll make sure that the generators are in auto, which they are. We'll turn on the crossflow auto override check that the bleed valves are auto where are the bleed valves ah yes here yes they are um, we'll turn off the APU so initially we'll uh, press the start stop button and we'll wait for it to spool down before pressing the power fuel button we'll turn our probe heat on and you know what because because I normally rush through all of this for a bit of a change we're going to check the uh, electrical page on the ICAS and we should have both gens green and the buses powered on the AC page and we'll push, push it again to have a look at the DC page and once again everything's in the green so nothing to worry about there and we'll go back to the stat page check the three ties are out yeah we checked that already okay let's set the flaps to eight for takeoff two clicks we won't bother with a flight control check because you know we know the flight controls are fine got no messages on the ICAS so we'll get the taxi light turned on uh, we should arm the thrust reversers but I'm not going to because I'm relying on a joystick slider so we'll leave those disarmed we will arm the nose wheel steering and we'll do the after start checklist Flaps are set, flight controls will say they've been checked, they haven't, but you know. Uh, trims are green and checked, thrust reversers, as I say, are not armed at the moment, we'll do that in a little bit. Flight instruments have been checked and the brake temperature has also been checked. Mm -mm. Don't need anti, I just realised I did the taxi checklist rather than the after start, but this too is all absolutely fine. Let me catch up with the chat and then we'll uh, do a bit of taxiing. Simon Schmidt 320 hello oh thank you very much uh, that's very kind of you to say thank you for joining us on the stream and uh, I will do my best to keep everyone safe I have tried the custom fly by our autopilot I haven't tried the auto land yet but I did a flight down to Nice in it today and it definitely feels different um, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to I think 
Is that gaming? You've just done with school an hour ago. Oh, very nice of you to join us. Thank you. So the waypoint thing, Top Gun, it, it, if you're talking about the wiggling left and right in, um, in LNAV mode, I have that as well. Uh, but other than that, I have to say I haven't had too many problems. It captures the the uh, localizer most of the time for me, but I still have the odd time when it won't capture the glide slope, which is annoying. But uh, hopefully there'll be more patches coming soon. And uh, until then, I think that you can you can get around the bugs. It's not ideal, but you can get around them. Here we go. Got what runway I said we were going to take off from now. 3 6 left, wasn't it? 3 5 left. 3 5 left, yeah. Okay, we can do this. And I'm going to try and keep my uh, N1 below 35% if I can. Not always possible. How long have I played this game for? Since uh, since before it came out. So I was on the uh, alpha testing program. So probably about a year, but I didn't didn't fly regularly. I have to say during the, until it came out in August. Hello, LJ Vlogs. Welcome, Kaimi. Welcome back. One of the best airliners to fly. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Would I like to support the channel by making a donation? No, I wouldn't, but the rest of you should consider it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, Peter. My track IR is being very sensitive today. I don't know why. You run this game on a GTX 460, do you? And is it okay? Hello, Dr. Roblox. Don't worry. Don't you worry. You haven't missed much. Well, you've missed quite a lot, but nothing. Nothing terribly exciting. There's no one about to announce our taxi intentions too, so I'm not going to, uh, not going to bother. What do I think of pineapple on pizza? It's not my first choice, but I don't find it as diabolical as a lot of people do. I will eat a pizza that has pineapple on it. You donate a like in every single stream. Well, that's very decent of you. <laughs> Thank you, Demetrius. Yeah, so if you're if you're new to the channel and you like what you've seen so far, there's nothing stopping you clicking the like button or subscribing to the channel at any point. I had a crash earlier on today, Razor. I hadn't had one for quite a long time, but uh, yeah, I, I just I just shut down my engines at Nice in the A320. And yeah, the whole game crashed. Don't know why. Hopefully, it was a one off. I've got to say, this plane is a joy to taxi. I know it's a small thing, but you really can, even with a twist axis on a joystick like I'm using get it around these curves quite smoothly. Oh, you've got a lot of allergies that have uh, appeared, haven't you, Reverend? That's, uh, that's not good. Hello, Wavefire. Welcome to the stream. GGT, Colin. G, are you, I don't know if that's got to go that's supposed to be got to go if it is thank you for stopping by hope to see you again you should pick up the Chicago hair scenery yeah it's pretty good it's pretty good we just stick the strobe on as we cross this runway I think this is actually the runway we landed on didn't it the, the one that we're taking off from Oh, that's not too bad. I mean, thirty. I lock my sim to thirty frames per second, so I have to say the performance on my 
you know, certainly not totally up to date system. It's been really better than I expected it to be. Missing your Louisville but enjoying the flying out west. Oh yeah, you did a lot round here, didn't you? There's some spectacular scenery out west. I have a real track IR. Yeah, I have a real track IR5. Oh, blueberries are nice. I think I'd rather... I like both, but in general, if I had to choose one fruit that I couldn't eat out of blueberries and strawberries, I'd, I'd sacrifice the strawberries first. How fast can the plane go? Uh, well, normal cruising speed is about Mach 0.74. So around about 450, 500, probably 500 miles an hour, I'd say, something like that. So I, my performance has got slightly worse since the launch, I think, and I hope the last patch would sort it out, but it, it didn't really, unfortunately. Do you know what I never did? I never pressed the uh, power fuel switch on the APU after it shut down. You could tell that because we had the uh, APU displaying down here still. Well this is an add-on scenery trading pilot so I don't think the default taxiways have been updated, no. Not as far as I know anyway. Yes, yeah, so it's, ju it's just southeast of Chicago basically. Hello, Sitira. I'm doing all right, thank you. How are you? Microsoft Flight Simulator looks beautiful. Yes, yeah, it is, it is. I think, it'll, well, it's going to open it up to a whole new bunch of people when it comes out on Xbox. It's going to be quite exciting. How much does your PC need upgrading, Reverend Dickey? Because you might be surprised at, at how slow a system can run this pretty reasonably. It's a long old taxi, isn't it? Indeed, yeah, Louisville, Kentucky, yeah, Crimson. Good, I'm glad you're doing well. Gil, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you? Interesting. Have a look at this windsock as we taxi past it was very much suggesting that we should be taking off in the opposite direction. So obviously the live weather winds do not match the, uh, the meta at the moment. Never mind. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. You don't want to drive yourself mad with... Uh, you know, just doing little bits and bobs and not having the performance you want. Hello, Jesse. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Yeah, fair play. Fair play. Okay, I'm just going to hold short uh, at this next hold short point. Then I'm going to double check that there's no one about on VATSPY and then we'll get going. Was it How was the landing, though? <laughs> yeah, it does, Mark. You're not wrong. Okay, let's have a look at that spy. Ooh, the brakes. Parking brakes were not on. They are now. So there's an inbound uh, arrival, but he's still uh, at 30,000 feet. So nothing for us to worry about. We'll turn on our strobe again, turn on our landing lights and get lined up.
How do you mean a setup tour, James? Do you mean like uh, doing everything from cold and dark? Oh, rip. Rip. But with a blown tyre, that's not bad. <laughs> I'm going to say that. I don't, I don't know if that's true. Actually, with a blown tyre, you probably want to have it lighter rather than heavier. But it's a new plane. It's early days. The fact that you did such a long transatlantic transatlantic flight and got it down is uh, is good. Right, before takeoff checklist then. Lights and strobes on. Fuel cross flow we set to manual flight. Attendants have been advised. Transponder. I think we should probably set that actually, to be honest with you. And we'll set it to 2200. There we are. That's sort of, I think, the default I IFR squawk code in the States. Radar and terrain display, they're not implemented. Okay, I think we're good. We're going to arm the thrust reversers, because we were supposed to do that when we taxied, but I didn't. And this is why, because if your throttle isn't in the right position, you will get uh, reverse thrust. We're going to start the chrono by pressing the right button. Yeah, dear. Don't want local to that's right, you right, okay. Is that running? That's running. Okie dokie, let's uh, let's go. So we'll get the thrust levers up to about fifty percent of N one, let the engine stabilize. And up to toga power. I've just remembered I didn't set my V-speeds. Silly. Done now. It's V1. Rotate. Didn't press the toga button either. Gear up, positive rate. Ah, you must press the uh, toga button before takeoff. Anyway, we can change to, we can switch on uh, speed and nav mode now. And we're above 600 feet, so we can turn on the autopilot as well. And it should follow our nav course quite easily from here. Flaps 1, passing to uh, 180 knots. And flap 0 because we're above 200 knots now. We can reduce our thrust levers to the climb detent. And we can increase our speed to 250 knots. And now we can go back to our checklists and climb and we'll double check we've done all of that which we haven't really started with yet so cross feed auto override off disarm the thrust reversers and that's it CAS is fine so now we just need to climb and I can even give you a little look outside and catch up with the chat. Thank you, Zach Gaming. Yes, Peter, I should have done thank you. If only I had seen this slightly earlier. <laughs> How long did it take to taxi to the runway? I wasn't timing it, to be honest, but it felt like a very long time. Don't think passenger passengers will ever want to fly Virgin Atlantic again. <laughs> well, if there weren't, if there are only 130 of them, it's going to take a while for word to spread. I wouldn't worry about it. Hello Sarp, welcome to the stream. Thank you Razor. What's that Peter, what don't you know what it's for? Oh the take takeoff mode, so the takeoff mode basically gives you um, a pitch up attitude to maintain 
um, your V2 plus 10 speed, that's the idea. It doesn't work perfectly, but it basically will just t show you, tell the flight director to show you to keep your wings level and uh, your nose in the air, basically. Why did I have a caution? There's nothing showing. Ice? Ice? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No. Turn, turn all the anti-icing on. Kevin Zone, welcome. Welcome to the stream. I want to say welcome in Spanish. Is it Benvenido or is that Italian? Benvenuti? No, Benvenuti is Italian. Benvenido, I think. Welcome, anyway. <laughs> Your throttle is acting weird when flying the CRJ using Warthog throttle. Have you tried setting it setting it up in the options here? You can tweak your throttle throttle settings in here. I don't know much about it because I've just left it at default, but there is an option somewhere in here. Ain't she, she is pretty. She is pretty. <laughs> Benjamin, hello. Welcome to the stream. Thank you, Kevin Zen. Oh, Juan, that's really nice of you to say. You're, you're very welcome. I enjoy doing them. I enjoy doing them. Bonsoir, Royal, et bienvenue. I feel that flies. How are you? Great to chill on the CJ4. Oh, great, thank you. Got, yeah, glad you're flying anymore. It's a great plane. Possibly the best uh, best plane in the sim, I would say. Do you choose a random squawk code when there's no ATC online? You're supposed to choose... No, you don't choose a random one. You're supposed to input either 2000 uh, for IFR in Europe or 2200, I think, here in the States. But don't quote me on it doesn't particularly matter if there's no ATC on because no one's going to see it and they will assign you a squawk if, if they come online but uh, technically that's what you're supposed to do. So we're above 10,000 feet so we'll accelerate to our optimal climb speed of 290 knots. We can turn off the landing lights and the taxi lights. Could have done that during the climb but whatevs. And we'll turn off the seatbelt sign. Bienvenido is right. Good, good, good. I'm pleased. No worries, Ramkus. Don't speak the Nish, but you're in the process of learning. Ah, oh, the Spanish, not the Danish, I take it. Or the Polish. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I, I, did, I didn't do it at school. I did French and German at school, but I've, I've learned a little bit here and there. Just, you know, you don't use these languages. They all get rusty, don't they? When am I flying the Boeing 777? When there is a Boeing 777 to fly. We don't have one in the sim at the moment. Well, other than forgetting the odd little thing, I think that was a pretty reasonable takeoff. I am a little bit scared. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm a little bit scared of speaking to Chicago Approach because my knowledge of American ATC is um, shaky, I would say. Shaky at best. I've bluffed my way through it before. I've watched a few videos here and there, but I'm certainly not, uh, not well practiced at it. So hence why I'm anxiously tuning the frequency well in advance for when they say contact me. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Polish would not be the niche. No, it would not. <laughs> I've just come off nights, Dicky. I've just come off nights. I can barely string a sentence together. <laughs> Good day to you, Ribbon. Welcome. Welcome. How are you? Oh, uh, you might be right, Gil. You might be right. Oh, what went wrong, Ribbon? What went wrong? I think it will come out this year, the uh, PMDG 737 Ramcas. They, they're hinting that it's going to be ready earlier than they thought, and they were talking about by the end of the year before. I mean, we don't know. Ja, ich habe Deutsch gelernt, aber ich benutze es nie. Also ich habe zu viel Deutsch vergessen, leider. Yeah, I think, I, in general, they seem a bit friendlier and more relaxed, I have to say, in the US. Do I normally focus on this plane? No, I fly different ones. I tend to fly this one. 
Polish, exactly, Kapil. <laughs> this one, the A320 and the CJ4, those are the main ones I stream. Um, but I also do my group flights and VFR stuff in the Cessna 152. And I'm doing the using the Piper more and more as well. And you landing one of the biggest... Uh, yeah, I know, exactly, exactly. But not too busy, fortunately, at the moment at least. So we've passed through the transition altitude, so we can switch now to standard pressure, 29092. Excited about the upcoming ATC interactions, aren't we all? Aren't we all, Jenny? Harrison! Hello! <laughs> oh, nice. It's nice you've been listening to the audio. Welcome, welcome to the video world. Welcome to the 21st century. <laughs> yeah, shameful, isn't it? Shameful. But, as you know, Harrison, I've just come off nights. So I've got every, you know... You're lucky I'm even here, that's what I say. <laughs> just having a hard time understanding the controller. Everything went very fast. Uh, yeah, I've been there. It's stressful. Did you, did you get it down okay, though? Did you have to go around? I'm glad you had fun, Rodrigo. Mariano, how are you? <laughs> what up? Well, well, all's well here, thank you. All's well here. Deutsch ist nicht schlecht. Danke, Zitira. Es war besser. Aber... Ich kann ein bisschen Deutsch noch sprechen. Danke, Simon. <laughs> there probably will be some complications at the end, then delaying, but not as bad as FS Labs. Exactly, yes. <laughs> FS Labs make probably the best planes, but they are slow. I think it was about 10 years, wasn't it, from when they first started work on their A320 to bring it out. It was indeed, Demetrius, yeah. Your brother-in-law is uh, from Mexico, so it irritates him every time you say the niche, right? <laughs> oh, that's all right. That's the main thing. He got it down smoothly. Off to Mogadishu. Oof, that's a long flight for this time of day. You can try, Demetrius, but I don't speak... Uh, Galimera, that's all I know. Galimera, Galispera. Um... I used to know, thank you, but even that, even that. Yes, that's, yeah, pretty much what I said. I can't remember. I think that's what I said, Dickie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, Jenny, it's true. <laughs> I never thought of it like that, but it's true. Yeah, exactly, Ribbon, exactly. Kick back, do a bit of late night flying, why not? Danke, Benjamin. Bist du Deutsch? F. Haristo, that's it, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I just have a poor memory these days. Bit of wing view, bit of a wing view for Caffel. I get the impression Caffel's dipping in and out of this one. I don't feel he's fully invested, which is fine, of course. But I like to lure him back in when I can. So I think now's probably a good time, before we get a bit hectic with the approach and ATC and all that, to uh, tell you a little bit about the different ways in which you can support the channel. If you want to support me emotionally, then I uh, would be very appreciative of a subscribe and a little click on the old thumbs up button down below. If you want to support me financially, that's also very, very welcome. Um, all you have to do is go to streamlabs.com slash flies and you can give as much or as little as you'd like. And the final option, if you want to become a member of Filbert Flies, um, is, to, is to join Club Filbert, which is my YouTube membership program. 
and what you get with that is uh, access to private channels on my Discord server. You get custom emojis both in Discord and on the uh, YouTube streams and in the comments. You get a custom badge. You'll see a few people uh, like Caff Caffel is here. It's good, good, good. Uh, like Caffel and Jenny and uh, Benjamin uh, with the badge. So that's nice as well. And if you join Club Philbert Silver, you also get a monthly private members only live stream, which is always a lot of fun. If you're interested in finding out more about that, just click the join button underneath the video. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I am British. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad, Demetrius, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, Gerske Dansk means I love Danish. I do like the Danish language ever since watching um, Borgen and falling in love with a lot of people. <laughs> Thanks, Jenny, for the demo. Simon! Or Simon! Willkommen by Club Philbert Bronze. Danke schön. And Mariano! Welcome to both of you. Welcome to both of you. Now, if you are on Discord, if you're on Discord, uh, drop me a... Well, you can join my server, first of all. And... Uh, <laughs> I'll wait for the tune to finish playing. So, if you want to join my server, then uh, this is the link. And uh, then what you need to do is uh, just drop me a message on there with your YouTube username and I'll make sure that you get the right permissions in the, in the Discord server to access the private members channel. And thank you once again. <laughs> the trumpets are good, aren't they? The trumpets are good. Oh, I typed it. it oh, there it is. There it is. It takes a while for uh, the Streamlabs bot to post my Discord link. Good evening, Networker Express. Welcome to the stream. How are you? From the hype, yeah. Um, Frank, no, I, 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 does that mean... I bet that means do I speak Danish or do I read Danish or do I understand Danish? And the answer to all three of those is uh, no, I'm afraid. I am always going to call you that now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, right, what else have I missed? You're beginning to be afraid the citation won't make it to Mogadishu. Ooh, right, yeah, yeah. Four hours is a long time. I tried to do a four-hour flight in it and it didn't make it. I would recommend a shorter one. The weather is like the British and we're the flattest country. <laughs> it's true. It's true. You don't have the best weather. <laughs> All you really need, honestly, in German is eine Bier bitte. <laughs> Finally off uni. Excellent. Excellent. Congrats. Yeah, I'm all right. Thank you. I'm... Uh, bit tired. I've just finished nights. Um, but other than that... Other than that, yeah. Pretty good, thanks trying to learn English to become a pilot and you're oh I'm, I'm glad <laughs> thank you Ariel where where are you from what's your uh, first language how much Danish do I speak none literally none I think tuck is thanks but that's that's about it Goldstream G650 out or Bombardier Global 7500 I can't picture the Bombardier I don't know what that looks like so I'm going to go with the Goldstream which is a beautiful plane Oh yeah, Addis Ababa would be nice. And that is the curse of being English. It really is that you that you don't have to. It's nice to learn other languages. I quite enjoy learning other languages, but you can afford to be very lazy. So that's interesting. We are climbing incredibly slowly now. Incredibly slowly above uh, flight level 278. Oh well, the longer we're climbing for, the less time you have to manage the throttle for. Why is going on tonight so easy and coming off so darn hard? 
I don't. I have to say, I don't find either way that easy. But I think when you go on tonight, you've got no choice of you because you're at work, so you've just got to plough on. But as soon as you get home from them, Eliaza, Eliaza, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Thank you for subscribing. Um, when you get home from nights, you relax a bit and you don't have to do anything, so you just sort of flump a bit, don't you? Is that a word? Flump? You know what I mean. Crumple. <laughs> Mentally and physically. You're from France? Ah, okay, cool. Four hours, ten minutes is, is always going to be dicey in the CJ4, I think. I hadn't heard that ridiculous interest. When you're done with Danish primary school, the books will be in English. Really? You don't have Danish textbooks? That's interesting. <laughs> Swedish is hard. I have a friend who's learning Swedish. It's always climbed pretty slowly for me. But not quite this slowly, I don't. Anti-ice is still on. Yes, you're right, it is. Let's turn that off. I have to say, in this sim, once I've got anti-ice on, I tend to just leave it because the plane will ice up for no reason. Oh, that's a good shout. We are climbing much better now. Thank you very much, Simon. I will try and remember that in the future. Banana, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you fly, Rink, Wing and Prayer? Oh, it's been heavy going, is it, uh, Network Express? Oh, yeah, staring at a screen all day long trying to concentrate what someone's saying is, is no way to live. <laughs> I wouldn't have until you, until you said that, Dickie, and now I would say exactly that, yeah. No, I don't think I have ever landed in Puerto Rico. Pilot 2.0, hello! I'm all, well, I'm all right, thank you. A bit, well, you weren't really asking me, were you? I hope you're well, anyway. <laughs> Not education above the gymnasium. Oh, okay. Right, yeah, yeah, I can understand that. Fly the Seal 603 and the Seal 604. Nice. Very nice. While growing up in the States, there usually isn't a ton of pressure to learn a foreign language. Yeah. I think I think it's bad enough in England, but but it must be worse in the States just because I, I don't know, I suppose, because you, there isn't the same culture of traveling abroad, is there? Yeah, you must be. What are you, what are you studying Networker Express? Oh, that's true. Yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess near the uh, southern border, there must be a lot more call for Spanish. Civil engineering sounds fun until you actually do it. <laughs> I've got to be honest. Having studied physics AS level, I, I, it doesn't sound fun to me. Right, so we are kind of halfway there, uh, I think. I'm just going to check my uh, charts. Yeah, so we're about to about to enter the star. And uh, I guess we ought to do a little bit of getting ready for descent. So what we're going to do for now is uh, bring up the MFD menu, turn on VNAV, and I'm going to uh, decrease the range a little bit so it's a little bit less uh, muddly. And you can see our top of descent over here. Um, about 80 nautical miles away, slightly more once you straighten the line out. So we may not even quite get up to our cruising level before it's time to start down.
Oh, really? That's very interesting. Very interesting. I'm t there's a lot that's quite interesting in this chat, actually. Specifically, that was uh, that was aimed at you, uh, Simon. You're going to do... God, you're a glutton to pa for punishment, aren't you, Kai? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, we Please contact me. On 120.35. Ooh. Chicago Centre this is. Interesting. Let's flip those across so it's ready to go. 120.35. I'm scared. I'm not going to lie. One two zero decimal three five. What time of day is it in Chicago? Good afternoon, isn't it? Yeah. Chicago Center. Good afternoon. Skywest thirty one thirty. Climbing through flight level three two four. Squawk 1357, Skywest 3130. 3130. Did he say 1357? I couldn't hear him because my audio was not set up right. Uh, 3130, radar contact over Marion VOR, cross Boone, Bravo, Oscar, Oscar, November Echo at 11,000, the O'Hare altimeter 3050. Cross Boone at 11,000, and say again, O'Hare altimeter, Skywest 3130. Okay, 3130, O'Hare altimeter 3050. And O'Hare altimeter 3050, Skywest 3130. Envoy 3199, radar contact, clear direct to Buke, climb and maintain flight level 330. Clear direct to Buke, climb and maintain flight level 330, envoy 3199. He must have said flight level 310, not flight level 110, right? I must have read that back wrong. In which case, that's fine. <laughs> oh dear. Flight level 310. Let's just check that's a hard constraint in the uh, FMC. Okay, I'm going to try and catch up on the chat, but you know, it's going to be sporadic now I've got ATC online. <laughs> Distraction from further maths, yes I can understand that. Benjamin, you're, Benjamin, you're going to head out. Okie dokie. Yes, yes, Transatlantic should be fun. Nice to see you. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Hello, Tom. Hello, Gabby. Welcome to the stream. You did politics at A-level instead of chemistry. Do you know, I switched from chemistry to German because I just couldn't... I couldn't bear it. I really couldn't. So a lot of pointing down here in Texas because people who just crossed the border and thought we need to it. <laughs> oh, there's no way I can catch up with all of this. Hello. Uh, uh, hello Seven Get to work, Phil, but I'm trying. Because, uh, <laughs> too much background noise there. ATC is scary, but worth it. It's just in Europe, I feel like I know what I'm doing. Here, not so much. I know, Dimitri, it's, it has grown a lot in the last two months, and I'm, I'm very grateful for everyone's support in making that happen. It's, it's, it's been an exciting few months. The flaps issue gave up on, give up on Paro. Good call, uh, I think. Uh, that's a little bit better, yeah. 
ATC volume is very quiet, is it? Fix now. Ah, yeah, that was my sound settings. Yeah, I'm just going to skip ahead to current because I can't catch up. CRJ so far is treating me. Okay, hello. How's the A350? One, Hello, three, XR, four, welcome. Zero, One, three, four, zero. Yes, I'm sorry for all the messages I've missed. It's, uh, I just, I oof, can't no, keep up. United I'll try and keep an eye on it now. We are, uh, oh, Dingo's here. Hello, Dingo. 9,200 feet <laughs> for 15,000. United 631, Chicago Center, leaving 1, 1,000, normal speed. Climb and maintain flight level 310. Climb and maintain 310 and normal speed, United 631. Chicago Center, good day, air pass, triple three, it's flight level four, zero, zero. Air France, three, 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 Chicago Center, I don't. Magnus, thank you very, very much for your donation via Super Chat. That's very kind of you. You try and help as much as you can. Oh, I know, I know you do, I know you do. I, I'm quite relaxed flying with ATC in Europe, just, just not so much here. <laughs> Thoughts on the sim brief acquisition by Navigraph? Yeah, I'm all right with it. I'm all right with it. I trust them. Number seven one nine Alpha Radar contact three zero miles east of Oshkosh one zero thousand seven hundred. Okay, Zach Gaming. See you later. Cool. Have a good flight, Ribbon. Make sure you take all the fuel your plane can handle. I'm going to check. Air France 333 at our contact, one and zero miles northwest of Keeler, flight level 400. Hello. Chicago Center, Skywest 3130. Uh, just to confirm, you want us to cross Boone at flight level 310, is that correct? Uh, Skywest 3130, negative 11, 11,000 at Boone. Cross Boone at 11, 11,000, Skywest 3130. Worth checking. Now I would have expected it now to uh, move our top of descent slightly. And it hasn't. It's exactly where it was. Right, let's uh, start down. Thank you, whoever that is. I'm just going to get my descent started and then... Uh... Get yourself an Easter egg on me, Philbert. <laughs> Who was that? Let me just check the window. Dazza, thank you very much. I certainly will get myself an Easter egg on you. <laughs> Thanks. We can't... Or maybe we can... I'm just I'm getting I'm getting overly anxious here about because it didn't move the top of descent and it originally thought we wanted to cross Boone at flight level 310 so I don't understand that I don't understand that at all um, so we're at flight level 330 so we've got to lose 22,000 feet and we really need um, 66 nautical miles to do that uh, with the three degree glide path so yeah something's gone wrong something's gone wrong so we will just uh, get the old vertical speed going down a little bit quicker anyone got anything to say about this ah the exec button of course of course what a noob Now what's it doing? Wh 
what's it doing? We want to go towards Veek. Uh, this is what happens. This is what happens when you fly the A320 for a bit and come back to this. I twiddled when I should have twiddled. Yep, I don't know why the plane veered off the line. I've had half a beer, Steve. I've had half a beer, but not enough sleep. <laughs> Earl Grey with lemon or Yorkshire tea? Chicago I'd go at this... Mm, I think I'd go Earl Grey with lemon. Treat yourself. Uh, just call me for a taxi. Simon, Simon, thank you very much for the donation. <laughs> Much appreciated. The uh, the trumpet sound is um, is only for Streamlabs donations. You just get the little bing 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 with uh, with um, um, super chats. I'm afraid. I hope you weren't too disappointed. So it can't calculate a descent, presumably because it just isn't possible for us to get down there. So let's... Oh no, we've got we've got a white snowflake back. It's all going to be alright. It's all going to be alright. Everyone stay calm. <laughs> uh, I wish I'd done a bit of, uh, bit of flying with ATC in Europe. Never mind. Never mind. It did, Bo. I worked that out, but why? You're flying out of Detroit today and I had no idea what it did. CRJ just got skyrocketed from 7,000 feet right into the ground. Blimey. That's um, not ideal. Your two vets invited have probably logged off now. <laughs> I would have done too if I... If I um, yeah, if I'd only done two vets in flights. But it's all right now, I think. It's all right. We're going we're gonna to get down in time. We're not going to get in trouble. We're going nice and slowly. We're sort of on a vertical profile, almost. Not quite, but almost. Just increase our rate of descent ever so slightly more. Interestingly, it's not giving us a descent rate here like it would if we'd passed our top of descent. But we do have the blue donut and the white snowflake, so that's something... Yes, everybody stay calm, for goodness sake. <laughs> oh dear. No, not yet, Ben, not yet, not yet. But I did mishear him. Um, in fact, I heard him right and then assumed I'd heard him wrong. Because we were expecting flight level 310 as we passed this waypoint. Ah, who's this? Harrison, thank you very much. When Club Filbert Gold... But when Club <laughs> Philbert Goldo called Tear Sausage Roll. <laughs> I'm still thinking about Club Philbert Gold. If anyone can think of a good reason why you might want to give me more money than you already do in Club Philbert Silver, do, do tell me. Do let me know. Anyway, as I was saying, yes, I heard uh, flight level 110. And then I assumed it must be 310 because 110 is not a flight level in America, right? It's 11,000 feet. And uh, then I decided I'd check, but I checked a little bit too late, and he said negative one one eleven thousand feet. So that's what we're doing now. We want to be at eleven thousand feet by here. We're going to be at eleven thousand feet by here, but uh, more by luck than judgment. Oh, I'm on the legs page. Yes, you're right. You're right. I uh, had a bit of page confusion there. That's what happened. <laughs> Love the one where an ATC was called up with a request to pass flight level 750. 
Sitira, thank you for your donation. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 We are November 831, Tango Kilo, Block 1326. Personalized yoga classes with the kids. <laughs> if I could, if I could rely upon them to supply that perk every month, it would be a done deal. There'd just be a lot, end up being a lot of refunds. <laughs> There we are. Slightly delayed, but you got it in the end, uh, Satira. <laughs> oh, and Mariano, you've upgraded to silver. Contact Chicago Approach, 119.0. Chicago Approach on 119.0, Skavis 3130. Thank you, bye-bye. Southwest 2108 on departure, turn left heading 250, runway 31 Passing 3B transition level. Wind 350 at 5 gust white. On departure, turn heading 350, uh, 31 center, clear for takeoff, southwest uh, 2108. At southwest 2108, that's going to be turn left heading 250. Oh, thank you. Uh, heading 250, southwest uh, 2108, thanks. Still a little high. Chicago approach, good afternoon. Skywest 3130 descending through 16,300 for 11,000 inbound to Boone. Skywest 3130, Chicago approach. You can expect radar vectors, the ILS runway 10 center, O'Hare altimeter 3050. We'll expect radar vectors to the ILS for one runway 10 center and the uh, altimeter 3050, Skywest 3130. Okay, let's set 3130, 30.50 even. <laughs> yeah, we're not quite going to make 11,000 feet, truth be told. Okay, uh, so radar vectors to runway 10 centre. Let me just make a note of that before I forget. Go back to our departure arrival page and change that. ILS 10 center, exec. Don't go somewhere else, please. It's going somewhere else. There are 5844 Lima, where are you parking? Go to Atlantic Travel for Lima. Go to Boone, go to Boone. Last one able, taxi the gate, or go taxi to the ramp via Lima. Oh, enable this is ramp very stressful. Traveler, very stressful. Yeah, I just have T zero five. Got a parker radar contact. Checklist. Passing. Yeah, that's all right. Got seven T zero five. Passing four thousand five hundred. Let's get some passenger yeah, signs on. Got seven T zero five. Climb maintain one five thousand. Climb maintain one five thousand. Got seven T zero five. Oop. That one on. Landing lights on because we're going through ten thousand feet shortly, and I can't be dealing with uh, extra bits. Southwest 2108, Chicago departure, radar contact, to altitude passing. 2,400, uh, Southwest 2108. Southwest 2108, climb and maintain 13,000. Up to 13,000, Southwest 2108. Citation 425, Golf Julia, runway. Okay, what have I missed in the four, chat? Right, clear for takeoff, fly heading 090, wind 350 at 5, gust 18. I said illustrious company, Mariano. I'm a big fan of Oz Flight Simulator XP72 as well. So thank you for your membership again. Yeah, Southwest it is. Hot. Clear direct Lukey. Will we see downtown Chicago direct on approach? Direct Lukey, Southwest 2100. Um, yeah, probably. Not entirely sure with runway uh, 10 centre, but uh, we certainly be, won't, won't be far away, so hopefully we'll get a glimpse. <laughs> you feel my stress levels enough. Thank you for the tea. 
Did I tell them that I normally fly on the left side of the sky? <laughs> this is why the dude said keep you're right, you're right. I still I do it in the CJ4 now. Still don't do it in this. But really it'd be better if the plane just worked, right? Not that I don't love it, I do love it. I just I could love it more. Anyway, it's all good now. Flying, it's flying at sensible speed. We're level at 110, 11,000 feet when we should have been. We're going to get vectors. I'm going to tune the ILS. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the chart up and I'm going to tune the ILS. Citation 425, Gulf Julia, climb and maintain 10,000. Climb and maintain 10,000, Citation 5, Gulf Julia. So, that should be 108.95. Number 719 Alpha with you, 10,000. Zero 719 Alpha, Chicago, approach. Set and maintain 6,000, expect vectors, the ILS runway... Who was that? Black Harrison! Black gold behind the scenes, maybe. Videos of setup, or maybe even some merch. Let us give you money. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah maybe something. I'll give it. I'll give that some thought, Harrison. I haven't been to Australia, unfortunately. No, no. I'd love to though. Harrison's going to uh, treat me to a flight out there at some point to uh, and show me around. You wish this had charts like a CJ. Sky was thirty-one thirty. Descend and maintain seven thousand. Descend and maintain seven thousand. Sky was thirty-one thirty. Southwest twenty-one zero eight. Climb and maintain one five thousand. One five thousand Southwest twenty one oh eight. And Southwest twenty one oh eight. If I didn't give you already direct Lukey. Uh yes, we are direct Lukey, Southwest twenty one oh eight. Uh wish I had charts like a CJ twenty one oh eight contact. I'm not that fast about charts, I have to say. I think it's a cool feature. And it'd be good for VR, but I'd personally rather have them up on my iPad in front of me. Than having to worry about um, citation four two five golf still in the ice back on. Rather than we're having to worry about zooming in and out. And Climb and maintain one two thousand citation five golf still It's fun though, isn't it? It's stressful, but it is fun. There are seven one nine alpha fly heading one eight zero vector. Don't look at my speed. Uh, one eight zero. <laughs> Nothing to worry. ATC will help as much. I know, I know, I know. It's it's not it's not so much that I'm afraid of ATC. I'm just Good afraid of making Chicago a fool of myself. Do you know what I mean? And when I fly in Europe, I'm fairly confident that I won't make a fool of myself. When I fly out here, it feels that I'm constantly very much on the edge of it. <laughs> It's true. It's true. I should have a separate Harrison pot, really, for the donation, so I know when it's time to go out. Increase our rate of descent a bit. Now we've slowed down. I would like to add a throttle to my setup. What I want to do, so I'm currently on a computer in the corner of my living room, and I don't really want to clutch it up with more stuff. I've got a small desk, a relatively small monitor. Um, but when my plan is to get the loft boarded out, and then I'll, I'll hopefully be able Chicago to move all of my simming stuff up there and have room for a throttle quadrant and pedals and a yoke and all the other things that I really, really want, but that I don't want taking over my living room, if that makes sense. You learn enough to make you a fool of yourself, it's true. Chicago Approach, Delta 450 radio check. Delta 450, Chicago Approach, Lodge, sir. Thank you, we'd like to request taxi, runway 10 <laughs> yeah. left. Delta 450, runway 10 left at Delta Delta, taxi uh, Alpha 10, Lima, Delta Delta, O'Hare Altimeter 305. So yes, we are going to see Alpha downtown Chicago a little bit a lot. Delta Delta, 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 10 left at Delta Delta, we've got the meter for Delta 450.
still radar vectors. We can do radar vectors. That's not a problem, is it? Let's try and manage my speed at the moment. I'm getting a little fast. And then a little slow. I just want 250 knots. What I really want is a so blooming auto. Alpha, nine miles from land. See, turn left, heading 120. Maintain 4,000 until established. Cleared ILS runway. Nine right approach. Uh, heading at 120, 4,000, and 9 right, limit 700 off the United 9143 to uh, Chicago approach, uh, requesting IFR clearance. Or, uh, never mind, stay up. How many miles? 50. Five zero. Hello Matt, how are you? It's all going swimmingly, nothing to worry about. It's just I don't really know about American ATC and I don't really know how to fly the plane properly. But other than that, other than that, everything's going well. In fact, considering that, everything's going well. Put it like that. <laughs> it's interesting how there's hardly ever traffic over Africa on that sim. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> and that's what I've become, Steve. I've become an Airbus wuss. didn't used to be. Back in the day I'd fly anything and everything. Right, let's do our um, approach speeds before we forget. VRF of 140 knots, what a surprise, what a surprise. <laughs> and we'll do our decision height as well, our decision altitude. Which for runway one zero center is going to be eight six nine feet. Star seven one nine alpha when zero three zero at one one gust one eight runway nine right there to land. Put around the way we're sending your alpha nine right. Eight seventy will do us. So we're still following the star, and uh, at some point he will uh, he will give us vectors. And look, I'm even going to show you Chicago. Beautiful city. If you'd asked me five minutes ago if I'd be relaxed enough to give you an outside view as we flew past Chicago, I would have laughed at you. <laughs> Flying over your backyard? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It is a jet, yes. <laughs> am I going to land it? I am going to be landing, yes. No, I'm not a pilot in real life. Nope. Getting a little fast again. Sink the heading bug once we've turned. Skywest thirty one thirty, the center maintain four thousand. Center maintain four thousand, Skywest thirty one thirty. This is the trouble. I can't scroll the uh, heading bug and see the heading at the same time. I need a bigger monitor or something. No, I should probably turn the right knob as well. That tends to make things happen quicker. <laughs> right, now I'll sink the heading bug. <laughs> It's true, I mean, it, it does happen to be very windy um, today, but Chicago is not called the Windy City because it's particularly windy. I learned this when I visited 
and it was someone will correct me if I'm wrong here I'm sure um, but it's, I think it's something to do with politicians gassing a lot I think that's why it was originally nicknamed the Windy City we won't be following this turn to final no need to worry so we're going to get vectors I just like Spirit Air. <laughs> Alpha, taxi to signature, be, uh, straight ahead, the rollout, left, tango, tango, cross runway. One it is, Reese, center, it is. Tango, tango. I'm no sausage roll connoisseur. He flatters me. Uh, I'm just an eater. Uh, yeah, tango, tango. <laughs> I'm just a heavy consumer yeah, of sausage rolls because yeah, he keeps tango. giving me money to buy sausage rolls. <laughs> right, I think what I'm going to do now so I don't forget later, is wind the speed bug all the way down to the ref of 140 knots. So we're essentially just flying a downwind leg at the moment. The airport is... Uh, Chicago approach American 407 there. Heavy, just ready to taxi, yeah, runway 10 left. American 407 Heavy, Chicago departure, runway 10 left, taxi via Alpha, Alpha 15, November, Zulu. Roger, taxi via Alpha 15, November, Zulu. Imagine a nighttime approach. On hold short, 407 Heavy. That would be cool. Actually, I, like, I do like the odd nighttime approach. Skywest 3130, turn right heading 360, vectors to the approach. Right heading 360 and vectors to the approach, Skywest 3130. Extend flaps one now, so we're below 200 knots. And I'm going to switch our nav source over to ILS. Although apparently nav to nav transfer is now implemented. I just, let's not leave anything down to chance, eh? Alright, let me flick through to my notes on landing. Skywest 3130, 5 miles from Ray, turn right heading 1 1, correction, turn right heading 070, maintain 4000 for established, cleared out on turn right 1 0 center approach. Left heading 070, maintain 4000 until established, cleared ILS approach from a 10 nice center, Skywest 3130. Skywest 3130, just confirm right-hand turn 070. Uh, affirm, right-hand turn 070. I don't know what I said. Skywest 3130. Presumably I said to turn left, heading 070. I don't even know who donated, but thank you very Delta much for it. Peekaboo! <laughs> welcome back, welcome back. Lovely to have you here. Okay, we'll contact them. Flaps 8 out. 450, appreciate the help. American 407 heavy monitor. And we'll arm approach. Will we arm approach mode? Was that us? 407 no. heavy. Skywest 3130 wind 030 at 11 gust 18 runway 10 center clear to land. Clear to land runway 10 center Skywest 3130. Skywest 3130 monitor Chicago center 120.35 on the rollout. 120 decimal 3.35 on the rollout, so Skywest 3130. Chicago approach now, closed for further services, contact Chicago Center on 120.35. So we're high, we're high. He said maintain 4000 till established, but we're going to do some hand flying now. Oh, and he's just gone offline. Gonna arm the thrust reversers. So we never got a chance to see if it would intercept the uh, glide slope because uh, he brought us in a little bit high. I think maybe it was my I don't know. He did say maintain four thousand feet. 
Yeah. So I don't think it was my fault. Anyway, good opportunity to hand fly the plane. Make sure we're pointing at the right runway. We probably are. I, needless to say, will have to ignore the chat until we are down now. Oh, bit of a pause and a stutter. Flaps full. Sink rate. Don't you worry about the sink rate. It's either this or we go One around. You rate. wouldn't like that. <laughs> Sink rate. Sink rate. As Reverend Dickey said, very much in the style of Spirit Airlines today. Sink rate. 500. Sink rate. 400. Sink rate. 300. Gears down three greens, flaps at 40. And the sim is behaving appallingly with stutters, which is not helpful. Sink rate. Never mind. Sink rate. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. does tend to roll about a bit when you touch down. I'm using full right rudder here. Ooh. And we'll take this high speed taxiway on the left. And he said to monitor Chicago Centre on the rollout, so we'll just switch frequencies once we're off the runway. Option, make left traffic for uh, one six. Okay, one, welcome two, one, to O'Hare. So that was total one zero eight, Lima airspace frequency, change of breeze. See you next time, thanks for the ATC, Southwest 2108. Skywest 3130 on frequency. Hey firm, Skywest 3130 is with you. Skywest 3130 left on Papa, Charlie Charlie, hold short, runway one zero left. Left on Papa, Charlie, Charlie, hold, left, hold short, runway 10 left, sky west, 3130. Oh, it's becoming a bit of a slideshow, isn't it? Let's disarm those thrust reverses. Get my map up, because I really don't know where I'm going. If you say left on Papa... You did say left on Papa. American 407 Heavy, turn left heading 360, runway 10 left to Delta Delta, clear for takeoff. To be fair, I was kind of already American committed to going this heavy, way down there, but it's alright, it's a small plane, we can, uh, we can make a year. Left 407 heavy. <laughs> Missed so much chat. <laughs> I didn't get bad performance last time I was here, so I don't know what's going on today. Scott Center Delta 450, we're uh, 3.4, I believe. Or actually, maybe. Right, let's have a quick look at the, the uh, after landing yeah. checklist. Delta 450. Uh, Radar contact, climb up, maintain one to five thousand. Thank you, one five thousand out of four five zero. Probes off. Can turn the anti ice off as well. Taxi light on. Strobes off. Okay, so we're just looking for Charlie Charlie, which is a little further up. 
taking us quite the long way around to any kind of parking. Anyway, what ifs? What Chicago ifs? Center American 407 <laughs> Heavy is in the left turn through 2,400. American 407 Heavy, right out of contact, 118 to 15,000. 15,000 for 407 Heavy. We can't see a replay today, I'm afraid, Fixie. No, Fizzy. No, I didn't record one. It all just got a little bit too hectic towards the end there. Do you think, Neil? I don't think so. I think it was going off anyway. Delta 450, clear direct Mikey. Direct Mikey, Delta 450. Uh, 555 runway 25 taxi via Fox Shot cross runway 19er at Fox Shot. Maybe he's giving me a long taxi to help me uh, help the brakes cool down. <laughs> Hello, do I? Remember 425. Welcome to the, to the uh, stream. Of space, frequency change of you joined kind of late. Over I've, uh, uh, so I've missed a lot of stuff. I've American 407 stuff. heavy clear direct pumpkin. American 407 heavy going direct pumpkin. Other than the aeroplane deciding to uh, roll left and right after touchdown, I don't feel that was too bad. We'll see afterwards on Volanta, but it didn't. I've noticed the word crunchy and crisp appearing quite often. I didn't feel it was, but, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Hello, GC Bounds. Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you here. Delta 450, climb of 18, fallable 340, normal speed. Up to a three. No worries, Fizzy. Nice to see you. Out of 450, 340. 340, up to cruise. Out of 450. Right, so Charlie Charlie is the next one. Marcus, hello, and thank you very, very much for the uh, for the super chat. Much appreciated. How are things? American four zero seven heavy. Resume normal speed. Climb of eighteen. Flight level three eight zero. American four zero seven heavy. Flight level three eight zero. Four zero seven heavy. So this is Charlie. Charlie, this is what he said. So we hold here. And we'll give him a minute and then tell him we are here, I guess. What speed was I landing at? I, I don't remember. I think I was... I certainly was a bit fast on the approach, but I thought I... No, I brought it back to 140, I'm pretty certain. Because I actually had to add a little bit of throttle in to maintain the uh, V-Ref. Peekaboo! Goodness me! That's an incredibly generous donation. Oh, a little late, but 555, happy birthday. Turn right, 360, runway thank 25, you very, very much indeed. Thank you. Much appreciated. Niels, thank you for coming and uh, sleep well. Sleep well. <laughs> November 21 Bravo, runway 1. It was perfectly 140. I thought it was too. Quick of option, 16471 Bravo. Runway 3199, Lumeer Space, frequency change of route. Over Unicom, Envoy 3199, have a good day. 
Ever one Tango Kilo, the Milwaukee Altimeter 3051. He's got a lot on his plate. There's no way he's remembered about me holding here. Skyway 3130 is holding short of 10 left on Charlie Charlie. Skyway 3130, crash runway 10 left to Charlie Charlie. Join Lima and Bravo to the right. Cross runway 10 left on Charlie Charlie. Join Lima and then Bravo to the ramp. Skyway 3130. United 9143, Mike check. Loud and clear. Roger, thank you. They fixed some of the bugs. Why so many stutters? I don't know. I, I can only assume there's a lot of VATSIM traffic. I've also got, I think, I think I've got the Javieski Design uh, Chicago landmarks installed, which probably isn't helping matters. But when I flew here the other day, it was fine. It was fine, so I, I don't know. I can't remember if I answered you, Kugaran. They fixed some of them. They fixed some of the bugs, but not all. So this is November. Lima's the next one. VS 555, heavy radar. Contact, Kwama maintain 1 1000. Oh, that's weird, Razor. Just sprouts roots here. You could. You could. Center Delta 1902 at the flight level 400 on our way to Chicago. Delta 1902, Chicago, Start Center the old 1307. Now, So what I thought, people, is that we Clocking might do this all over again Delta tomorrow 9, 9, 9, and fly from here to Aspen. What do you reckon? Same flight. time, same place, that sort of thing. So it's a 1902 at our contact. Definitely when I face this way that the stutters get worse. 4, 0, 0. Cross so it must be something to do with the... Uh, the uh, something to do with the city. Uh, There's another sure flight back. Crossed, no, uh, Captain, if not today. But there'll be uh, another flight 1, 1, tomorrow. 000? You're down. Excellent. Why not? Good. Yeah, Aspen's a stunning approach, which is likely to go Roger that, no better than this one did. But it's also likely to be my fault rather than the controller's fault tomorrow. So that's exciting. <laughs> there is. It's one of the default airports. Uh, one of the default handcrafted airports. And they've done a pretty good job of it, I think. Suhaib, no, you haven't. You've been missed. How are you doing? Oh, do you? Lucky you, T-Money. Yeah, I think, to be honest, for this sort of flying, I should probably just uninstall them. Because the photogrammetry is pretty good when you're just flying around, sort of nearby. It's only if you're going to be doing scary VFR stuff, um, sweeping around the buildings, that it really matters, isn't it? In fact, I, I think my original plan was to uninstall them, and I just forgot about it. <laughs> exactly, Reverend Dicky. exactly. <laughs> convert? Convert to what, Sitira? Good, I'm glad you're well, Sue Hope. Glad you're well. Did you say on Discord I'm doing the Dublin to JFK flight in the A320 on the... Chicago, no, not on the 24th. I'm doing it on the 19th. It's, so it's not part of the um, cross, vaccine cross the pond event. I'm Chicago working that Center, day. Eisen. And it's going in the wrong direction anyway. Yes, yeah, so if anyone's interested in seeing a long haul, uh, that's happening at 1100 Zulu on the... 11th, did I say? Yeah, 11th, so Sunday, not, Star not this Sunday, but next Sunday. Contact, 200 miles southwest of Burlington. Hello. And, um... Good evening. I mean, I assume we can cross this runway. It's not a runway, is it? It's an old runway. Um... Yeah, we're flying from JFK to Dublin in the A320 on Batsim. Should be about a six and a half hour flight. And it's to celebrate passing, well, it was originally going to be to celebrate passing uh, 4,000 subscribers, and I didn't get around to it. Then it was going to be about celebrating 5,000 subscribers, and I didn't get around to it. So now it's about celebrating four, five, and 6,000 subscribers. So something a little bit different. 
to basically say uh, 555 say thanks. expect vectors for the visual runway 10 center Harrison you off bye bye thank you again for all your donations and just just for being here it's always nice to have you around uh, so sleep well Oh, I thought I'd disarmed the reverse thrust. I only managed to disarm one of them, despite trying to click them both. I think airport interiors can influence FPS, yeah, but I've got a Scott lot of airports with interiors that run, that run very smoothly. The runway 16, uh, request uh, stop and go. We're 4721 Bravo, runway 16. Almost 100 yeah. likes, really? Wait for the option. <laughs> Well, if anyone hasn't clicked the thumbs up button, do please do it and subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, plenty more of this sort of thing to come, along with the other stuff I do, which is mostly add-on reviews, previews, and tutorials. Uh, Southwest uh, 1981, yeah, unable. You haven't received the well uh, flight plan. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it won't be too long, hopefully. Aviator Sim, hello. Yeah. Oh, no problem at all. No problems at all. There. And thank you for stopping by. Good luck with your uh, with your stuff. Thank you, LJ Vlogs. And thank you for. I can't see who who did that. I'm guessing it was you, Covel. Pinging uh, Streamlabs into action. <laughs> I think the horizon is totally flat in this. I'm not certain. Sitira, goodbye. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Oh, that sucks, Team Money Adventures. I'm sorry to hear that. So we're going to park. 555, expect the vectors visual, runway 10 center. We're going to park, if I can find where I wrote it down, and I can, at the gate that the real flight parked at the other day, which is. Lima 10 Bravo. I see the visual over on my uh, one zero center. Which is basically all visual the way around to the end of this uh, terminal complex. Yeah, it's a long, long taxi yet again. I haven't been to Los Santos for a long time. Tristan, I don't know if I even said hello to you. Nice to see you here. PS555, the sun of maintain 7,000. Uh, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I can see the responses to the commands, but I can't actually see them being typed. I guess it makes sense. I guess uh, Restream doesn't see that as something that people need to see. You're a bit late as you tried Las Vegas to Vancouver to see the new scenery. Ah, right, how did it go? Do not close the stream till I reach 100 lines. <laughs> Center Delta 1902, what runway are, uh, should we be expecting at I'm Chicago? I'm hoping. I'm hoping that by the time uh, I park have you the game, to the have a few more likes. I forgot to. Thanks for pointing my attention there. Oh, a little bit snippy. A little bit snippy. Maybe Chicago's actually a little bit like Gatwick. Uh, there is, there's a little bit of traffic. It's not super busy at the moment, but there's a... I don't know what airline that is. Some kind of aircraft parked up there. There were a couple uh, taking off and landing. Right turn Just hit 100 like Excellent, excellent. Thank you for everyone who has... Thank you to everyone who has clicked the like button. And, uh, and thank you also to everyone who's subscribed. And particularly... 
thank you to those of you who have donated and those of you who have joined Club Filbert. It really is um, it's very humbling and I really appreciate it. <laughs> I think I do, Frank. I think I do. So we want to go into this ramp here. And I think Lima 10 Bravo is one uh, of the center, first stands on the right. Now we'd like uh, 10 center. Roger. And uh, don't forget the descent, please. Yep, we just hit our top of descent. We're, we're descending now. Let's turn the old taxi light off. I tell you what I'm really looking forward to you when FS2 crew comes out of this plane. It really will make it a lot more fun to fly when you've got a co-pilot to help you out. So that's 10 Charlie, Lima 10 Charlie. That's Lima 10, and I believe the next one should be Lima 10 Bravo, the one that's sort of perpendicular. Yes. Chicago Country, Cessna 4721 Bravo is beam runway 16, uh, request uh, full stop. We're 21 Bravo, runway 16, clear the option. Clear for the option for 4721 Bravo. Right, here we are. Let's get the thing shut down. So we've got our APU online. Yes, we have, that's available. So we can kill the engines. We can turn off the fuel pumps. We can turn off the uh, seatbelt sign. Here. We have to step away for about a half an hour. So it's a 450 right there. Beacon light. Okay, thanks. Frequentation approved. Over to Incom 1. We can get the door open. Door. Yeah. EPS 555, do you hear reports uh, 10 o'clock and 14 miles report? Let's just do our checklist because I'm sure there's other things that I have forgotten. Nice. Parking brakes on, seatbelts are off, thrust levers shut off, anti ice is off, fuel pumps off, beacon is off, nose wheel, nose wheel steering, that's the only thing. November 553 Alpha Alpha Chicago Center, Grid to South Bend Airport via direct. Good. Once again, welcome to O'Hare. I'm going to catch up with the chat. And then we'll, uh, we'll go our separate ways. Ah, right. I won't catch up on all the chat because there's just a bit too much of it. But I'll catch up on the most recent stuff. Do uh, you remember having to go five around five in Chicago? Three, it took forever to fly back onto the project. Oh, I bet. I bet. Yeah, I'm very glad either. we didn't go around there, to be honest. Do you remember the 10 like street? Yeah. Doesn't feel that long ago, does it? Uh, 100 lights, but two gears pressed the wrong uh, button. Thumbs down. Correct, correct runway 23, the 4809 out to 3039. Or crushes, runway 32. Did I see the P3D 5.2, Joe? No, I didn't. I didn't. You now retrieve your luggage from the overhead bins. Quite. A month ago when you started watching, I had 3,000, and now a month after you. It must have been more than a month since I was at 3,000, wasn't it? It must have been. I'm pretty... no, I, there's no way I've got 3,000 subscribers in a month. T time has just flown by, Demetrius. Hola, Pounds, Welcome to the stream. Concord, 120 tonne of fuel. Yeah. Did I... I did open the door. Yes, the door is open. I was a little bit late to open it, uh, to be honest, and the jet was, was pretty much connected by the time I did. But yeah, it's open. It's open. And I have to say, the jetways here look absolutely brilliant. I've just noticed how good they look. I think I mentioned them in my review, but it was a very long time ago. They look proper battered and worn, which is uh, yeah, nice, realistic. Chicago Center Sky Another West fabulous Triple flight. Thank you, Jenny. Yes, see you in the air tomorrow. Direct, uh, Feliz noche, Juan. Thank you for coming. 
Indeed, there was a landing, and it did look a little one bit three, like that. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Antony. Or oh, goodbye, I should say. Uh, thank you for coming. Can't wait for Dublin New York stream. It's New York Dublin, but good. I'm pleased. How much fuel is in those wings? Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head how much fuel is. About four tons. I guess three three three. I got to like seven yeah, miles east of victory. Follow three eight zero. Really? Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I don't know. Maintain, follow that's follow that's follow amazing. Follow it's better than I thought. Well, thank, you three, 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 well, thank you all for sticking with me. Thank welcome to those of you who are new to the channel. Uh, oh, sorry, down thank you all for watching zero, again zero. thank you so so much to those who have made donations and those who have joined club Center, Delta, I really appreciate it um, I'm going to call it a night now but as I say same time okay. tomorrow well, we're flying from here to Aspen so I hope to see you then Take or behind care. you or Bye -bye. around you alright thank you just making sure that what that was just my live traffic not the the sim traffic